SEMO head coach Tom Matukowicz, the team coming off a loss to nationally ranked UT Martin. Uh, they're in the season this week at Bryant, uh, first matchup between those schools. So, Coach, thoughts on your team, and then we'll go to some questions. Yeah, I just want to congratulate Coach Simpson and uh, UT Martin on another championship. Uh, they were the better team, um, and that was obvious, and certainly wish uh, we could have played better, but uh, give them credit, and uh, we'll be rooting uh, them on in the playoffs. They're certainly deserving of that. Thanks, Coach. We'll go to some questions. Jake, uh, you can go up first. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, Coach, I know we spoke a couple weeks ago about playing a new opponent. I know you said you saw Robert Morris a couple weeks ago, just watching them throughout last season, winning a couple games now. Now you're going for another new opponent. What's the the challenge that, that you have to, I guess, deal with as a coach to get your players ready when you face someone you haven't seen? Yeah, I mean, it's it's – kind of fun getting a new opponent you're trying to figure them out watching film there is some common opponents now so you can kind of gauge uh you know how some of their players are but also just even like a plane flight um you know we're going to take a charter out to rhode island i've never been to rhode island and i'm pretty sure most of my guys haven't and so all of that's new um but it's also why it's exciting to to be able to you know finish with a, a trip like this Obviously not the way you wanted things to go on Saturday. So even though you have one game left, what are you guys still playing for at this point? Well, the mission is to to fight and finish. I really believe the team that's the most excited to play Saturday has a good shot of winning it. You know, this will be their last game. This will be our last game. There's not necessarily something past that. So both teams are in a, a similar situation. And so you're just like, where are you at? Um, you know, with our injuries and stuff, at the end of the day, if we don't get our offense, um, you know, at least moving the football, getting some first downs and stuff like that, it's just going to be tough. You know, we got to figure that out um, defensively. You know, they kept us in the game, but end up, you know, uh, lots of big plays in the second half. So we just got to, uh, you know, fight to finish. Um, and, you know, this will kind of reveal who we are as character, as men, you know, uh, doesn't mean we have to win, but it definitely means we need to show up ready and prepared and, and go after it. I know we spoke last, um, you mentioned how you were trying to do everything in your power to make sure Gino could try to get this record, hit that 5,000 yard mark. And then I guess what went wrong offensively? Cause he ended the game with negative two yards on eight carries. We lost the line of scrimmage. Um, I think what happened was UT Martin has said, hey, you're not going to run it. We're going to put that band there and play man out there, and your quarterback's going to have to throw the football. And so we weren't good enough to run it anyway. You know, last year, uh, Murray knew we were going to hand the ball to Geno, and they couldn't stop it. You know, this year we're not good enough up front to just go get that done. And then um, we do have some talent at a wide receiver, um, but uh, we, we weren't able to get him the ball, but but really a couple times Saturday. You mentioned wide receiver, and Ryan, I think, had his second 100-yard game of the season. We saw that deep bomb connection, um, and I know your guys are, you know, really thin at quarterback, you know, going down the line here, but is it nice to see the passing game still kind of evolve this late in the season? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, we're, we're still working hard on it. Um, you know, we think give us the best chance to win is get the ball and – you know, guys like Vic and Ryan's hands. Um, and so we're doing everything we can to try to make that happen. Yeah. And, and getting the you know ball in the hands of your playmakers, especially a guy like Gino. Yeah. Point of yeah, emphasis. No, in no uh, it is a point of emphasis and it's, it's, there's lots of reason, right? Like we want to send Gino out with a good game, but also just our identity. Like at the end of the day, we are uh, like, this program's about running the ball. You know, uh, doesn't mean we got it'll be 50 50 or whatever, but to come out of this game and not have any rushing yards would be really disappointing. And I know you mentioned this game will kind of reveal who you are. I think before the season, you told me you had that mission. And I don't know if you're looking at it as a failed mission or an unaccomplished mission, but is there a new mission with one game left at this point? Yeah, no, we, we didn't get the mission done. You know, that's, that's, uh, over now we're starting a new mission and this isn't the first time we have an accomplished mission sometimes we have sometimes we haven't um and so at least you know the mission was still on the table for most of the the season um now it's not and so 
you know, at the end of the day, uh, I think adversity kind of reveals your character and, and what kind of character do you have? Are you going to shut it down and just try to get to the end of the season as coaches? Are we just going to worry about recruiting or are we still going to fight to put our guys in great positions this week? So it just is a test about who we are and not letting uh, our situation define us that we define ourselves by how we respond to it. Hey, you mentioned the recruiting and everything. I mean, is how hard is it to stay focused knowing that it is whatever Saturday's result is, it is what it is. How can you keep, you know, how can you stay focused when you have just one game left and not look ahead to, you know, the off season like other people might. Just discipline, you know, there's times and places for everything and recruitings after the season. And we owe it to guys like Gino and Lawrence and all these other guys to make sure that the focus is still on this team. We had a good day yesterday at practice. We scrimmaged some of our young guys after uh, we prepared for Bryant. And there's still a lot of good energy. And so I think we'll be ready to play. Now, that being said, this will be a tough trip i mean obviously going to rhode island bryant's a good football team they got a great quarterback their top five turnover margin they they you know took gardner webb to um uh, overtime you know so all, all of those type of things that may we may prepare well and still lose but we'll know if if we cheated the the kids and the kids cheated themselves this week by how we play saturday do you feel there's things this season that you guys will be able to reflect on and celebrate on Sure, sure. Absolutely. I think there's a lot of feedback, you know, good and bad. You know, I think the outside world will just, you know, give us a grade because we didn't accomplish the mission or whatever. But ultimately, uh, there's a lot of life lessons here. There's growth opportunities and um, there's seasons of life, man. Sometimes you're in a season of life in a valley and sometimes you're in a season of life on a hilltop, you know, and sometimes in the valley, creates the the great the best opportunities for growth which if you're better you know this time next year than you are this year man well it's been a good season and just finally for me just to look a little far ahead do you guys still plan on having the end of the season banquet that one more time do you guys still plan to have an end of the season banquet like you did last year or is we do not we will not is that only for championships is that why that was done last year yeah well we will have a meal uh, and hand out our awards but really a banquet is a celebration of an accomplishment or whatever and this will be a celebration of of some of those awards not necessarily the season okay thanks for the time coach appreciate it yeah you bet well coach we appreciate your time this morning and all season long and just best of luck to your team uh, as it wraps up the season this weekend and this is it right this is it coach yes okay i appreciate you kyle thanks